Out of the latest on the scandal that has cast such a shadow over UAW and Fiat Chrysler in their national contract negotiations. Today, the company manager behind two of those contracts pleaded guilty to felony counts that could send him to prison for nearly the next decade. Local 4 business editor Rod Maloney has followed this case from the very beginning and is live outside federal court. Rod, do we know what prompted the guilty plea? Um, yes, uh, they had him, essentially, is the way to put it. I mean, it was Alphonse Iacobelli is the guy uh, who was in charge of the talks, the contract talks for the company, and he admitted that he was using funds from the training center to be able to just dip into and pay off union negotiators to get a favorable contract, and he was dipping into the till as well. The national contract handshakes are a tradition, a sign that they'll negotiate in good faith, yet here they did not. The late FCA UAW Vice President General Holfield and then FCA lead negotiator Alphonse Jacobelli had an illegal side deal using National Training Center funds that lined both of their pockets with hundreds of thousands of dollars. Today, Jacobelli admitted to it all. He pled guilty to count one of a superseding indictment violating the Taft-Hartley Act. It says that it's unlawful for employers to pay anything of value to union negotiators as a way to prevent corruption. Iacobelli also pled guilty to filing a false tax return as part of the money grab. Iacobelli admitted he paid one and a half million dollars to UAW staffers, gave 450,000 of that to Hollifield for a favorable contract, which Hollifield and his wife Monica Morgan used to buy jewelry, furniture, and electronics, among other things. Iacobelli also wrote a check to pay off Hollifield's $262,000 mortgage on his Harrison Township home. Iacobelli admits he himself used NTC funds to purchase expensive items for himself, including a $354,000 Ferrari that the feds have now seized and two $37,000 Mont Blanc pens. Iacobelli also pled guilty to tax evasion by omitting just under $1 million in income from his tax return in 2016. Now, Iacobelli is facing about eight years in federal prison. And uh, we're going to have the sentencing on that come the end of May. In the meantime, uh, Monica Morgan, uh, General Hollifield's widow, is expected to come and plead guilty to similar charges later on this week. Reporting live downtown, Rod Maloney, Local 4.